Hey everybody, Paul here from Hashtag Sports. Just thought I would pop on and talk about some players that the Buffalo Bills still could add. Yeah, believe it or not, the Bills actually have three roster spots still available. They're at 87 players. This includes uh, Zach Moss, who is the lone Buffalo Bills draft pick to remain unsigned. So uh, Buffalo's got three roster spots. Let's figure out how they can use them. All right, if you're new to the channel, uh, my name is Paul. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Um, here is the deal. In the comment section below, go ahead and pause. I want you to tell me the three positions you think the Bills uh, could probably add. You got three roster spots, so let's let's use them. Uh, so go down to the comment section. Go ahead and put those three positions you think the Bills should be adding. If you have any players that you want to talk about, put them in there. Let's, uh, let's chat about them. Uh, so I think we'll probably get the easy one out of the way. Uh, you're carrying one punter right now. That's it. So you have to imagine at some point Buffalo is going to add a punter. Uh, there's a few punters that were out there. Uh, the punter from the Jets, the Broncos. Uh, there was uh, somebody who punted for the Falcons last season. Uh, Dustin Colquitt is, of course, the name that everybody knows. But uh, he's just coming from the Chiefs, longtime punter for the Chiefs. And you kind of have to anticipate um, there's going to be a lot of teams who are going to be interested in adding him. Uh, he was a salary cap casualty because Kansas City was carrying a lot of salary cap. So nothing personal with Colquitt being gone. It was just a numbers game. Um, so he is going to be available and that's the name to know. Um, but outside of that, you have to imagine that of all the positions of need, uh, punter is the one glaring because you're only carrying one. You're actually carrying three field goal kickers right now. Uh, Kai Vedvik is on the roster, Stephen Hauschka, and of course Tyler Bass, uh, the newly drafted kicker. So um, again, you're carrying three field goal kickers and one punter. You just have to imagine that they're going to bring on another punter at some point here. And, and Vedvik might not be long for this world on the Bills roster now that Tyler Bass is signed. So uh, we could see some flip-flop there, but again, the more you know. Uh, so let's get to uh, position number two. And some of you might be mad at me here. Actually, this list just in general might make you mad, but I'm still feeling running back is a position of need. And let me explain a little bit as to why. You're carrying six running backs, and most teams will not enter uh, the offseason or not enter the, the preseason with seven running backs on their roster. Uh, but most teams also don't invest uh, multiple, you know, higher round picks and running backs in back-to-back -back years. But Buffalo's done that with Devin Singletary and Zach Moss. So what does the rest of that running room, running back room look like? Well, TJ Yeldon and Taiwan Jones are your leaders in clubhouse experience. And then after that, the remaining four, only Devin Singletary has any actual NFL experience. Um, Christian Wade spent last season on the exempt list uh, and was an exempt practice squad member. Uh, you have Antonio Williams, who uh, we just released a scouting video uh, to uh, those of you who are members of Hashtag Nation on the Pro Bowl level and the Hall of Fame level. Uh, you got access to that. Um, and then uh, they had uh, one more running back. And that's pretty much uh, where it stops, right? Um, kind of need to expand that room a little bit. Right. Um, so by expanding that room, well, hold on, let me do the math there. Yeldon, uh, Taiwan Jones, Singletary, Zach Moss, Antonio Williams, and uh, Christian Wade. No, those are the six. Excuse me. So you probably got to add at least one more and maybe even another one with, with a little bit more NFL experience. Uh, it is a possibility you could walk into the season with Taiwan Jones, Devin Singletary, Zach Moss, and Christian Wade being your four running backs on your roster. And I, from an experience standpoint, I still feel like there's probably a little bit to be desired there. So you have to start looking at what players might fit. Um, and again, you're adding the seventh running back to your roster. So I don't think injury history is all that big a deal. Uh, I don't think you're really looking at, you know, does this skill set fit? I think you're looking at, let's bring in a player who's got experience, who can play for us in a variety of roles if we do need him. So we'll kind of start from the top. I, I got to be honest with you, a player who's 25, 26, probably not looking at coming to Buffalo. 
Uh, you've just invested multiple picks in your running back position. That is likely where you're looking to go. So any player who signs has to kind of be under the understanding that this might be a limited run thing. So players like Carlos Hyde, he's probably going to get a little bit more look in another organization uh, that can probably offer him a little bit more of an opportunity to actually get on the field. So while Carlos Hyde is a name out there, he played a lot of snaps for Houston last season. But Lamar Miller uh, is another name that kicks around and he does make actually a bunch of sense for Buffalo. You know he can come in and play for you. You can get rid of him if it's not going to work out. But he's somebody who uh, was making a lot of money in Houston last season. So the price for Lamar Miller might be a little inflated. But if you can avoid, avoid a signing bonus, I mean, you can check the tires on Lamar Miller, bring him in and see what's there. Another player, Ty Montgomery. Uh, didn't look great with the Jets last season, uh, but again, usage was pretty limited because they had Le'Veon Bell and, and really just an awful offensive line. Uh, so with that being said, Ty Montgomery actually falls uh, into uh, scope for Buffalo pretty well. Um, he doesn't bring a ton of experience at the wide, at the running back position, although he saw you know pretty solid success with the Packers um, because he's a converted wide receiver. But either way, he's a player that can contribute on multiple levels with your team and can play if you absolutely need them to. Uh, the last on my list for me is Bilal Powell. He's 32 years old. Probably makes the most sense for Buffalo. Uh, again, has starter experience. You're not asking him to come in and, uh, you know, start 16 games for you. But if you need somebody that can come in and play two, three, four, five games on a, on a contribution level while you wait for Zach Moss to really be ready to contribute, Bilal Powell is certainly there. Uh, and you have to wonder if Bills fans would prefer Bilal Powell over TJ Yeldon. Honestly, there are many times where uh, a Bills fan dropping a sledgehammer on their foot would be preferenced over TJ Yeldon, so you guys will have to tell me. The final position I want to talk about, and that's number three, is linebacker. I know that we have Matt Milano, we have uh, you know uh, Tremaine Edmonds, and we just signed AJ Klein, who's actually making more money than uh, Edmonds and Milano combined, by the way. Uh, and you have Tyler McAvich. So there's some players that you just recently added. Uh, you still have Corey Thompson, um, Terrell Dodson, Voshan Joseph. Um, so you've got players that can contribute for you. But I'm still looking at adding maybe another veteran, uh, a player who, again, can step in, learn the system. If you let them go, maybe come week four, week five, there's an injury. It might still be available for you. Um, or you're looking at trying to back up that Matt Milano position because he's walking into a contract year and you still haven't signed him to an extension. So you're probably looking at trying to get yourself down the road a little bit uh, because if you're not able to re-sign Milano, having somebody who's incumbent to play uh, while you're looking for the next Matt Milano, that makes a lot of sense. You have an opportunity to do that now. Uh, so kind of looking at the list, if you look at, and I, we like to use Spot Track uh, for the listing free agents because um, Spot Track is kind of a fun website that allows you to play with some of the tools out there, but the free agent listing is a little bit easier than overthecap.com. Uh, so if you go to Spot Track and you're taking a look at the uh, available linebackers, you're going to see, uh, you know, you're going to see a, a variety of names. You're going to see Terrell Suggs. You're going to see uh, Clay Matthews, uh, Alec Ogletree. And those are players that, that absolutely are going to contribute to any NFL team. But I don't think that they fit the mold of let's back up that Milano position just in case, right? Um, so you have to start looking at some other options. Now, I'm not going to say Mark Barron is the answer because 30 years old, but Mark Barron is a player that, again, flies in, can play if you need him to. Uh, played really that big nickel role, did transition a linebacker pretty well, um, has been on winning teams at this point. So Mark Barron makes a bit of sense. Um, really a heavy player. Like He, he plays heavy. Um, is he as fast as Milano? No, I don't think he is. Uh, does he have as good recognition as Milano? No, I don't think he does. But again, we're just looking to try and get ourselves down the road a little bit. If something were to happen, uh, Mark Barron could step in and play for you. Uh, outside of Mark Barron, probably the big one for me is Darren Lee. And Darren Lee was first round pick by the Jets, went horrifically wrong because the Jets have always had perennial head coaching changes. It just never worked out. He actually spent last season with the Chiefs, won himself a Super Bowl ring. So congratulations to Darren Lee. But um, in all the games that he started, only had about 30 tackles. He wasn't a real big contributor, but he wasn't asked to be a big contributor. Uh, but Buffalo sure does love former first round picks, right? That's really their money spot. If they can find a former first round pick who's looking for a job, you can come play with us. 
right? Uh, we've seen them do it a bunch. Um, we saw them do it with Kevin Johnson with, um, uh, let's see here. There's a bunch, actually, that come to mind. But the fact still remains that Darren Lee is a perfect signing that if you're at 87 right now, bring him in. He's not going to cost you much. He was traded from the Jets to the Chiefs for a sixth-round pick. So that's where the league sees his value. And even after a Super Bowl win, that doesn't change his value all that much because he didn't really contribute all that much. But is he a player that can walk in and, and play for you if Milano is down? Yeah, sure. It's former first-round players. So the talent, this, the athleticism is there. And that's really what McDermott and Bean seem to be very cognizant about. They want the best athletes. And while Lee, I'm not going to tell you, is going to be a world beater at the linebacker position. He's had four years to do it, and it's just not getting done. He had his fifth-year option declined for obvious reasons. The fact of the matter is that he could still play linebacker on an NFL level. And does he improve your roster right now? Well, that's really hard to do when you're looking at trying to fill out a 90-man roster to make your team better. I think Darren Lee does make that linebacker group better. Uh, it certainly brings a little bit more experience, and you're not asking him to start. Uh, so... Am I comfortable with AJ Klein? Yeah, absolutely. But I'm looking deeper than that. So if there's any players that you guys can think of that you would love the Bills to sign, drop them in the comments section. Let's talk about them. Uh, other than that, my name is Paul. This is Hashtag Sports. If you've never seen us before, thanks for uh, hanging out with the nation. Uh, we hope to see you guys back in the car soon. If uh, you know, you're know you obviously new, thank you again for finding our station. For those of you who have been around for a long time, our savvy veterans, uh, you guys know the deal. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, for those of you that haven't already, and we'll catch you later. Have a good one.